Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 3rd, 2023. We will do an overview here in the beginning and then I will break it down into three groups. Check the timestamps to pick whatever group that you want to do in addition to this first message. Okay, we got a card out already. I do want to let everybody know that July is going to be very interesting okay i was saying i just did a month overview if you want to go check that out but this first week week and a half not feeling great i feel like there's some immense power struggles where people are making very drastic moves that affect everybody maybe potentially harm a lot of people just because they want to maintain power okay so please keep that in mind. We do have the 1010 energy portal coming up. I'm going to be talking about this until it happens because now is the time to spiritually prepare for that. If you don't know what the 1010 energy portal is, it is a time of great potential, all right? It's also a, a spiritual shift. Now, for some people who are not prepared, uh, it can be a time of ending. So think of any time like something's just not serving you. It goes out of your life. So if you've been kind of dragging your feet, I'm making a career shift or something like that, 1010 portal comes up. If it's no longer on your path to be doing that, it's bye-bye job, okay? And see, people get really, or if you're in a toxic relationship or something like that, it just all kind of potentially falls apart. This is where the cracks really start to show, okay? Now, why am I doing this three months ahead of time? Last year, um, a lot of people waited to get a personal reading with me, some angelic guidance, which is, this is the type of reading you want right now, okay? Yes, I'm biased because I do angelic work, <laughs> but, but really, um, even if you do it on your own, make sure you're doing work with your angels because they help you get primed and prepped to handle the things that are going on out in the world, how things are affecting you, and still maintain your life's purpose, your soul's contract, and living your fullest potential, right? So yeah, if you want to work with like, okay, what's to come, what's to come, that's great. If somebody tells you, they tap into an energy and they reflect back what could be happening, right? Um, tapping into a certain timeline. But just because you know, doesn't mean you know how to handle it. That's where the angels come in. So make sure you are paying attention to that. But last year, everybody waited until like a couple of days before the 1010 portal and flooded in to get readings. I got them done, okay, but I almost died, okay? <laughs> I'm being dramatic, but it was a lot, okay? Plus, people I don't think had an appropriate amount of time to process the messaging before things started going off. And the reason why they came in a few days before is because stuff started happening, and they panicked, and they went, oh dear, this is real, this is a thing. Angelsouls444.com if you wanna sign up for a personal reading. Uh, I do have, as of the recording of this, I am recording this on July 3rd, I do have a promo code ANGEL, what is it, ANGEL20, <laughs> that you can put in for 20% off of your standard reading request. That is not going to be valid for the entire week. As a matter of fact, you might want to jump in as soon as this comes up because it goes down uh, shortly thereafter. So it won't be, uh, you won't be able to use it anymore. So just keep that in mind. I almost dropped the deck. Hi. Um, I do live readings as well. Those are at a different price point, completely based on availability. So you need to email me for a live reading if that's what you want to do. And that email is angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Check out the description box if you want to support me on Patreon. I have journals on there that I've put together that might be a useful tool for you. All of that. So the first card out we have is gratitude, which I think is something that a lot of us don't like. We have creativity, fire agate, calcite relaxation, and agate again, healthy body. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like this, something's going to, well, let's get the color card and see what that says. But it feels like something, there's the potential for something catastrophic to happen this week. Where? Probably Europe, okay? Oh, I dropped it. Hold on, I gotta grab it. Ah! <laughs> she ain't 20 anymore. Okay, what is, <laughs> what's going on with my hair now? All kinds of things. Anyway, we have two that came out. 
So we have tangerine, be spontaneous and have fun. We have indigo, improve your vision. This is seen past the illusions, but let's go back to what this story is telling. So hidden night, gratitude. With all of this, with things going on in the world, this isn't about just disconnecting and saying, I don't care, it's not my problem. Practice gratitude. Practice gratitude that you have your family or if you are somebody who's alone, have gratitude for being alone because, you know, sometimes people are annoying. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> or that you can sit with your own thoughts, <laughs> with your own feelings. Can I come back from that? I don't know. Uh, so that you can do some healing around the sacral chakra. So with this is uh, Fire Agate Creativity. Work with Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel helps you restore that sacral chakra from whatever may have happened to you in childhood, um, money worries, you know, that kind of goes in with the root chakra as well. But creative life force if you're having fertility issues, but especially if you have something like writer's block, okay? <laughs> Work on the sacral chakra. All right. And I should say fire agate as opposed to agate here. This is a giddy up and go kind of energy. It's pushing on the gas and saying, I'm doing it. I'm taking what I want. And then we have this sort of contradictory <laughs> message where it's like, this might be how you feel. Like you feel like you want to charge ahead. And the cow set comes in right behind it and says, ah, relax, okay? You there with the face, relax, okay? <laughs> like it may not be the perfect timing for such things. Or, because I'm hearing wasted energy. You might be kind of going after something and the way things are unfolding in the world is not going to sort of serve your goals so uh, for this week at least it feels like you know just hold tight for a second make sure you have all of the information agate healthy body i'm immediately hearing cortisol now i'm not a doctor but a lot of us are getting stressed hormones are going all over the place and it's having detrimental effects on our health so be aware of that if there's something out in the news, something that's very aggravating, something that is <sighs> catastrophic, you know, anything like that. Yes, you're going to have your very natural reaction. You would be a sociopath if you didn't care. Um, you know, uh, let's avoid being a sociopath. Thank you. Uh, but manage that. Manage it for yourself. Then we have this be spontaneous and have fun. It's 17, reduces to 8. This is needing a break. Yeah, this is so give yourself a chance this week. Yes, information is going to be coming out. Yes, it could be a little disturbing or, you know, whatever. Or maybe it angers you. If there are talks of lockdowns coming again for whatever reason, you know, that could get you kind of set on edge. That's where this comes in. Indigo, improve your vision. The number's 40, reduces to four angelic guidance. Okay, so don't get stirred up in the narrative. Don't allow yourself to go down that angry path. Tune into your instincts about what it really is. I think this is sort of getting us, again, away from the narrative, away from the story. Not in the way of I'm going to be in denial about what's right in my face, but rather I, I know the game. I know it's designed to work against a lot of people and so and then make us feel shameful and guilty and because we're not doing enough or something like that when in fact it wasn't really available to us in the first place. So there's a little bit seen through that, not from a victim standpoint. You go into that energy, good luck coming out of that, okay? <laughs> Got to be careful. So we're going to leave it there for the general portion of this, and we are going to get on to the groups.
for the group one. Let's see how this is affecting you for this week. Please make sure that you go back and watch the general. That's the other part of your message. Do not wait. If you want to get an angelic reading and you want to work with me, book now. I would say, because I'm recording this beginning of July, by the time we hit August, we're getting ready for that 1010 portal in October. So people are going to be coming in. Um, and it's a lot. So please don't do that to me, okay? <laughs> just, <laughs> just get your readings in now if you want. Okay, thank you. All right. Redicular site acceptance. This keeps coming out. So this is a love crystal. There's something, to me this is surrender. This is, I accept things as they are. I accept that I have to get through this. I accept that maybe a situation is not ideal, but it's where I'm at and that's okay. And trying to find the love and appreciation. If you have people coming forward and trying to help you out, but you're still frustrated because things are not looking the way you want them to, have gratitude, okay? And have a, send a lot of love out there. Yeah. Divine Temple Source. This is what Source is wanting you to do. So if you chose group one, where have you been um, cowering in fear? Where have you been holding yourself back because, I don't know, something happened and you're having a hard time forgiving? That's okay. No rush on forgiving, okay? Like you, you do that in your own good time. But connecting in with this, it's almost like this is a time where you're realizing I don't have to make, I don't have to take on shame or guilt. I don't have to do that, right? Um, if someone's trying to make me feel bad because I don't live the way they want me to or whatever, okay? And what that ends up doing is not only do you get, you open up that sort of flood of love, divine love coming for you, but you're being asked, you're given a job here, okay? You're being given a job to put that love out there. And you don't have to even be face-to-face -face with anybody. Include the entire earth, every being, in your prayers, in your meditations, send that love out, okay? Then we have fluorite learning. Yes, there's something there's something coming to light this week that it could be a little jarring, but it's okay, you, you can handle it, okay? You will be absolutely fine. But this might have to do with, um, you, you recognize how you've held yourself up, right? From maybe abundance or struggling needlessly because you're not allowing the divine to come in and help you, okay, in some way. You might be sitting there yelling and screaming and going, it's not true, I'm always asking for help. But do you accept the help when it shows up? Or do you let your ego get involved and say, that's not it? This is that kind of thing. I always think it's funny because I've done this myself and I'm like, I want love, I want love, I want love. And then someone shows up, I'm like, not you. Um, <laughs> right? Like that's, that's how the universe is trying to help us. They're answering the call. And then when we reject what the universe is trying to show us, you feel me? Okay. Then we have pink tourmaline forgiveness. Oh, that's funny. We were just talking about that. So we have some pink crystals here. That is higher heart chakra energy. That's Archangel Shamuel. That's divine connection. All right. So you're probably doing a little bit of discovery, a little bit of healing this week. But remember what your job is, okay, to make sure you're doing that for yourself and then sending that out for others. All right. Okay. We have chocolate. Nourish your body and soul. The number is 13. Reduces to four. Again, angelic guidance. This would be your guardian angels. And because it's a chocolate color, that's the earth star chakra. It is very rich and fertile and it's being grounded and balanced and reconnecting. So Big, big week of just, okay, I need, I need a break. Some of you might be on vacation <laughs> and that's okay. I need to get grounded. I need to reconnect with nature, uh, work on some forgiving, maybe if it's the right time for you and opening up for some downloads to come in, but more than anything for that higher heart chakra activation that can get shut down. It's always there. It's always functioning, but we don't recognize it if we get too wound up in surface level things. All right. So this is your time to reconnect in that way. So we're going to get on to group two. Hi there, group two. Let's see what is going on for you this week. Please make sure that you do not wait on getting an angelic reading. 
especially with the 1010 portal coming up in a few months, you want time to <laughs> give me time to do it, number one, but, <laughs> but to be able to process and through the messaging, be able to take that in, implement it, right? Get yourself prepared. So now's the time. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, Rodeco site acceptance. This card keeps freaking coming out everywhere. Okay. We need to get into a place of loving acceptance. Okay. So this for you guys feels like there might be a little bit of panic. It's sort of, um, the panic of, let's say you're a prepper, but the rest of your family isn't. It has this feeling of like, can you please just get a stupid life straw and an atlas and gas up your car, please get some dry, <laughs> get some ramen, you know, do something. And you're kind of in that moment of like, uh, there's this acceptance that needs to occur that not everybody thinks like you. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they're not so convinced that something's going to go off the way that you are. That's just an example. All right. Ancient wisdom, crystal, ancient wisdom, you know, there's feeling here of like intuition, clarity coming through intuition, clarity around your situation and not just surface level stuff, but we're talking like deep. Okay. We're going deep here and that's where the ancient wisdom has to come into play. So the ancient wisdom of knowing that I have to accept that not everybody's going to believe what I believe. Um, if I'm really big into spiritual growth, like a lot of my family, I would say all my family, they might be, I have a couple of family members who are interested in astrology, but like what I do, they're not interested. They're just not interested. I don't know why. Because angels are very supportive. But this might be like tapping into that and saying, that's not their gig. And that's okay, right? I accept and love them for who they are. All right. So then for you guys, we have fire agate keeps coming up too. Creativity. I'm telling you, there is sacral chakra stuff going on here. There is manifestation. All right. So this is, the fire agate is very pushy. All right. It's very powerful. It's very immediate. It can be very impulsive. Make sure you're not doing that. So really, this is a time where you're tapping into that inner wisdom. You're not getting wound up in surface level pettiness, right? If people are trying to manipulate you, you do a return to sender on it. No harm done. And the highest good of everyone involved. And you release yourself from that. And you really start to find that there are creative solutions. You might even have a creative project in you that suddenly wants to come to life. It's beautiful. All right. As you write, expanded awareness. This is a massive week for people to get in touch with source, to expand our consciousness. Now, there might be some information that you find out about how to do this. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing the God particle. <laughs> I'm hearing dimensional shifts. There's a lot going on. All right. So the way for you to tap into this is not to get your ego involved and go, oh, I'm special because I chose group two and, you know, I'm, I'm the chosen one. It's also about communication and communicating from a very wise intuitive place thank you all right so let's get your color card you see how i don't like egos around here all right so we have coral allow flow and synchronicity into your life the number is 18 reduces to nine that is a completion of a cycle okay that is completing it and this is saying don't force the ending okay don't force the conclusion even if you feel like you want to hurry up and get past something that's all well and good but things have to play out in a certain way for you to be able to enjoy the conclusion that comes. All right. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and move on to group three. Hi there, group three. Let's see what is going on for you this week. Please do not wait to get your angelic readings. If you want to especially get prepared for the 1010 portal, which is coming up in October, starting that process now, this is not like an immediate little thing. You know, when we're talking about deep soul level stuff, you need some time. Last year, everybody flooded in all at the last minute and I hated it. Okay. <laughs> so and what's more, a lot of people weren't, you know, they got the value out of it, but they were already behind the game, right? So just keep that in mind. All right. Let's see what's going on for all of you. Malachite healing. Let me tell you a little something about Malachite. If you carry a piece of this with you, Malachite is mouthy. <laughs> 
Malachite heals through telling people off. Sometimes. Some people might disagree with that. But we all have our interpretations, don't we? So be careful with this. If you're going to work with Malachite, Malachite can be very... I'm calling out the BS. Okay, so just... So maybe not the thing to carry with you at work. Okay? Maybe it would feel very healing to scream at your boss, but are you going to be any better for it? You'll feel better in the moment, but you're not going to, in the long term, have a good outcome, right? <laughs> so just be careful around that. So we have Ancient Wisdom Crystal, Ancient Wisdom. This keeps coming up. This, this is really about all of us remembering who we are and healing from a story that tells us that we're less than, um, telling us how we're supposed to live and that it's impossible to live that way. Right, and then people try to make you feel shameful or guilty. There's a lot that's been coming up as a big thing, the shame and the guilt. So you're tapping, you're healing, and being able then to tap into this higher wisdom. Herkimer Diamond Dreams. This for you guys feels like there could be messaging coming through your dreams for sure. If you've been having these wild dreams, I've been having flying dreams like crazy, and I cannot even tell you how free and beautiful it feels. Like something's coming to a culmination. But this could also, because of the healing that you're doing and because you're getting in touch with your inner wisdom, get you back on track with your dreams. So something that has maybe, you know, not getting the time and attention it deserves because you've had to focus on other things, you're able now to come back to this. It's lovely. Shadokite teacher. <laughs> when you are ready, the teacher appears. And so I think that is really what is happening for some of you, or um, maybe you're being asked to be the teacher of someone else. Now, let me let me put a little PSA out there. You're not a true teacher if you let your ego get in the way. What does that look like? Oh, I, I teach people how to da 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 da. I'm a spiritual practitioner, and yeah, maybe I can share information that could be seen as a teaching to some people, but I never see myself as above them, right? It's not as if, because I see, I get people who request readings and um, they're scary individuals, I'm not going to lie. Yes, I'm I'm a teacher and I'm put on this earth to tell, blah, 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 blah. no, no, because you've got a lot to learn yourself, so what are you doing? So what I'm getting at here, <laughs> you might have some messaging coming through, um, maybe a teacher appears for you. But keep everything very equal and respectful. And two, I felt like I needed to say that because someone out there was thinking that. So we have Rose. Rose is super high frequency. So only go towards teachers who are super high frequency. Not the ones that tell you that they are. Okay. But the ones that are relatable, humble. You will feel, if someone's really pure in their wisdom, you will feel their love. Even if they, if, if it's tough love or something like that, you still feel that they care. Right? A fake teacher just is all about how they look and how how much people will put them on a pedestal, okay? So it says, attract a relationship. The number is six. Now, from an angelic frequency and angel number kind of standpoint, we see the number six. This is about our physical existence. It's about taking this high frequency and passing it through and, and implementing it into our human existence. Now, the attract a relationship thing here, I think, I, I didn't write this deck. So that's probably because it's Rose. We think romance, we think blah, um, fine, you know, if you want to, <laughs> but roses attract in angels. So from an angelic standpoint, I would say this is more like get in tune with your guardian angels this week, really do a lot of meditating with them and, and have them guide you on how to bring that high frequency through that then might make you come together with others who are in a like frequency. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for everybody. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.